photography. It's uh, the art of capturing light, isn't it? And, uh, well, I think this is it. We've got the sun going down over here. We've got this beautiful landscape here. We've got this side lighting on, let's move you, this gate and fence here. And just over here, I've been watching a hot air balloon for the last kind of half an hour or so. And it's, it seems to be coming this way. I'm not entirely certain how because the wind's blowing that way. Um, it's getting bigger. I fancy, I, I can't see it now. I don't know whether it's just lost height or whether I've dipped down 20 foot or so from where I was before. But it is a stunning evening. Now, I'm, I'm not gonna pretend, it's damned cold. Um, yeah, I'm quite high up and uh, uh, that wind is really, really chilly coming across here. But the image I want to show you is this. This is wonderful. I've already shot a number of uh, frames on this and I, I just love this. I've got so many variations. Uh, I'm rushing. I shouldn't be rushing. Uh, I should be doing this uh, properly. Uh, but uh, I just didn't want to lose the light. There's quite a reasonable amount of cloud up there. And uh, as soon as the light kind of goes down, we lose this, uh, uh, the, the light on here. And the light in the, uh, in the distance as well. It's absolutely awesome. The haze over there, earlier on it was actually quite pinky. Uh, and it's picking up the, uh, the rays of the sun. Um, I'm not entirely certain whether we're going to see that again now. But, oh hell. Uh, I am so, so pleased I came up here this evening. Uh, a bit of a fight to get uh, a, uh, a large motor home, which is, come on, flip, there we go, just over there, uh, up some of these narrow country lanes. Uh, but, oh, just awesome. I'm hoping that uh, that balloon is gonna come over, uh, but uh, it's probably not that close in truth. But this, oh look, I've lost the damn light. It's gone, it's going behind a cloud. And, and this is the problem. I'm hoping I've already got something that was uh, more than acceptable. In the back of the camera, it looked awesome. It's, uh, yeah, it, it's a keeper. It, it, it's a printer. Um, uh, it's, it's very nice. But that light is, oh heck, the light's going. I'm, I'm, I'm gassing on camera. Let's see if I can raise you up just a touch there. I don't get a lot more out of it. Uh, I don't know how much of the distance and the landscape you can see over there, but just the, oh. Wonderful the way the light moves across here. Well, the, uh, the balloon hasn't showed up. It's probably landed somewhere. We have lost a lot of the light, but actually I've shot quite a few more of this gate and the, the wall and everything, because it's so structural, there's so much kind of detail in it, uh, that actually even in the flatter light, I think it's working quite well. I don't know whether I'm gonna put up a number of different shots for you to have a look at, or just yeah, choose the one that I like the best. But uh, it would probably be one that's got the the, the the fading sunlight on it um, because that's the the ones that uh, I like the most but oh what a place what a place for reference uh, this is a uh, Malham or Malham area at least so uh, Malham is about oh two miles further this way Malham Tarn is just about a mile that way and uh, it's beautiful it's absolutely beautiful if you get a chance you should come here even if it's not without a uh, even if even if it's not with a camera you should visit this area but don't bring an eight foot three motor home down lanes that aren't really designed for it it's uh, it's tight. Yeah.
I'm off. Now as you can see I did capture the balloon but it is a long way away but what a beautiful beautiful scene I find this photo so so calming and I remember the enjoyment of being there and capturing it and indeed the enjoyment I've had in editing it as well to to bring out the colors and the, the detail I truly think this is one of my best shots it works incredibly well in black and white as well have a look at this Now this shot is a four perhaps shot panorama, I really can't remember now. It's of the area around Coombe Hill, I'm not sure exactly the topography of this, but uh, that, uh, that scar is awesome and is indeed the scar you can see from the drone footage that led into this shot. On my way home, the sun was astonishing and I got this. I hope you've enjoyed these photographs and indeed the video that goes with them. Thank you for watching. I am mindful that you're giving your time for this and I hope it's been worth it. If it has, please please hit the like button it's so important to the channel and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications this was taken from the top of my motorhome literally standing on the roof looking towards penny at sunset highly memorable for me i hope you liked it we'll see you soon